Hey everybody, this is Josh from Visto.ai for another episode of Talent Tips. I am here with Daisy Wright. Daisy, thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you so much for having me, Josh. I am excited about this opportunity. Likewise. Can we start, Daisy, by just hearing a little bit more about yourself and what you work on these days? Yeah, so I am an executive career coach here in Brampton, Ontario, and I work with primarily with executives, managers, mid-career professionals to help them get hired faster. In addition to that, I am, I actually wrote the book, No Canadian Experience A, A Career Success Guide for Immigrants. And this is important because of the topic we're going to be discussing today. And anything else they want to find out about me, just hit LinkedIn or our Twitter and I'm there. Awesome. And we'll make sure to link to those in the description as well. This is going to be interesting, Daisy. So our second question, and I'm excited considering the book that you have written and the expertise that you have, yes. can you please give us three tips for aspiring immigrants who are looking to land their first job in Canada? Right. So my first tip is to be bold. And when I say bold, the first thing that some new immigrants might hear, whether they're here in Canada or they're preparing to come, the first thing they might hear is that they don't have any Canadian experience. And my tip for them is to say, I might not have Canadian experience yet, but look at my background, look at what I have achieved and look what I could bring to your table. It's easy for, for, for new immigrants to kind of, when they hear that, they kind of go back and say, well, that's true. I don't have any Canadian experience. But they have to be bold because one of the reasons, Josh, is that it's the same qualification that allows them to gain entry into Canada or to be on their way to Canada. So nothing changed in the air when they, in the plane when they were coming, right? It's the same them. So be bold and let people know who you are and what it is that you can do for them. So that's tip one. That's a good start. Very good start. Yes. Right. Tip number two, when it comes to preparing your marketing, your career marketing documents, like the resume, cover letter, and so on make sure you get a good understanding of what's acceptable in Canada. So in some, in some countries, for example, it's okay to put a photograph. It's okay to list your marital status and those kind of things. We don't do that here in Canada. You, the only thing you need to make sure that you present are the, are the things that will help the recruiter determine whether you are the best candidate for that, that position. So your marital status has nothing to do with your ability to do the job. So make sure you, you, you focus the resume on the employer's needs and not so much about what you are looking for. That's tip number two. And tip number three, many of us shy away from our immigrant status in terms of probably language, in terms of accent, those kind of things. Make those things your assets. So if you speak another language, you're up on somebody like me who, who is monolingual, right? Make sure you capitalize on that. So they can say, you can say to them, if you enter the market that I'm coming from, if you happen to, to, to want to do business, for example, in, in Venezuela, then Spanish is my first language. I could help you penetrate that market. So don't worry about, oh, they're going to think my accent is this or I don't speak proper English. All of us have to learn. So don't focus on that. So those are my top three tips. And I'll just throw in another one because this is important. In your research, make sure you are looking for 
labor market information for Canada or even narrow that down to the province that you will be, you'll be living in. And the Labor Market Information Council, their website is a good place to start. Awesome. And we'll include a link to that because it is a very important factor. Those are really great tips, Daisy. Can you give a shout out to somebody in the Canadian HR people, talent or recruitment space? Absolutely. I would love to give a shout out to Tanya, Tanya Sinclair. She's the director of talent acquisition. And listen, her name, her title is probably bigger than this, but she is at Ryerson University, which is now Toronto Metropolitan University. She is a stalwart in the HR industry. And she actually sits on the board of the Human Resources Professional Association. So I would love to give her a big shout out because she has the knowledge and information and anybody who has a question on anything in talent management or HR, she's the person to go to. Awesome. We'll have to get her on the show. Daisy, yeah, for sure. thanks again for coming on. If somebody wants to learn more about you or your company or get in touch with you, where do you recommend they go? I recommend they go first to LinkedIn, just put my name in and they will see me showing up, the Chief Encouragement Officer at the Right Career Solution. Or I am on Twitter, which is my Twitter handle is Career Tips to Go. Career Tips, the number two, and go. And I am also on Instagram, which is Daisy Wright underscore career coach. Awesome. We will I'll make you get in touch with me. We will link to all of those in the description, Daisy. Thank you again for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much for having me. It has been a pleasure. And I want to wish all the new immigrants, whether those who are coming in or the ones who are already here, I want to wish them best of luck and to tell them to be bold because they have value. Amen to that. Amen to that. Thank you, Josh.